Hey Bodies, it's your girl Naya, and ciao, let's get into something, because it seems like something is brewing up between JT and Cardi B after Paige tweets, JT, Akbar, Bia, and Katie got bands after seeing Glorilla get a top 10 hit without doing all the dick riding and extra shit. Well, JT has seen this tweet on her timeline as she replied saying, I'm not like that at all. I've been doing remixes and never got credited on a chart, but they get sung word for word and help push out the original song as intended. Unlike y'all, well, I can't even say y'all because y'all don't rap. You sweet. Congratulations to Glow and Stream FNF Remix and Queen Mix. Ciao. And although JT never said Cardi B's name, I guess the hit dog will holla as Cardi B tweets, lap dog, go fetch, as if she was calling JT a lap dog. Well, JT did catch this shade as she tweeted, I hope you don't think you know bully, wiener dog. But of course, JT was not about to let Cardi B slot with that tweet, as she quotes Cardi B's tweet as she says, Cardi, go fetch a real talent, we DMing, why are you coming back here to put on a show for these kids? Now, Cardi B replies to JT saying, So wait, me and you talking in the DM, woman to woman, but you take it to your timeline and throw shots calling me a bully and a wiener? Why are you playing dumb? And you talking about real talent? Ha! You forgot P tried to put me with your writer. Now, Cardi B is accusing JT of having a ghostwriter, but little does she know, she just admitted that she uses a writer as well. But that's none of my business. Anywho, Cardi B goes on to say, Matter of fact, I'm not even doing this on the timeline. It's becoming real repetitive for doggy treats. We already addressing it in the DMs. Goodbye, y'all. Somebody had a question for Cardi as they said, How you sub a bitch and then play victim? Girl, be serious. Then Cardi B replies saying, How I'm playing victim? I'm standing on what I said. Ciao, the girls are fighting. Now, JT replies to Cardi B saying, That was before you replied. And you was talking about me. So tell the world why you said I'm being a lap dog, Cardi. JT also tweets after Cardi B claims she uses a ghost writer. She says, No, you wanted our writer for our hooks, for our sound, because you clearly have none. Ask any writer. I write my own shit. You know this. Shake it dropped. I tweeted her lyrics in the midst of a stand made up drill war, but today was supposed to be about Glorilla. Instead, you called me a lap dog. Nah, bitch, I'm a big dog. Roof, roof. Then Cardi B replies as she posted a collage of her song with the City Girls, Twerk, received 227 million views, and all of JT's other music videos received less views from their collaborations. Well, Cardi B tweets, I definitely didn't. P wanted to put me in your writers because y'all numbers make him pennies. My talent speaks for itself though. JT replies, Cardi please, I'm not impressed. I don't care about no beef. I'm not about to beef with you about YouTube. Girl, is you crazy? Then Cardi B tweets, didn't I hit you back in the DM 20 minutes ago? But I gotta come to the timeline for a response and you're mute but steady arguing here. Like I said, this shit is for show opportunist then jt tweets maybe both are timing off but how am i an opportunist you call me a lap dog for no fucking reason make it make sense but back to the dms i go then cardi b replies saying if the shoe fits that's your fault you know what the dms are getting more and more personal and it's always beyond this shit i'ma stop it right here twitter you're welcome for the show and then jt tweets Wait, I'm back for this last tweet, cause who doing anything for doggy treats? If anything, Glorilla gave you a bone that you need to go feed to that dog who was posting by the pool for hot shit, fancy pants. Ciao, then Cardi B tweets. Hot shit debuted better than any song you ever dropped or been on, prison pants. Everybody has good and bad moments, but you haven't had one since what? Act up? JT tweets. I wish I would ever let a chart make me feel less of a star. I literally came from nothing. Did this shit with the rap I wrote on the road, hitting licks. I did my time like a real bitch. And a bitch ain't scratched me in there. And always there for extra chicken on Thursdays. 
I ain't never shamed. This industry not even designed for girls like me to really win. Let's be real, all this shit is politics. P always told us, get that shit out the mud, grind hard. I lay down because I get discouraged from all these labels paying for every motherfucking thing. So don't talk to me about no charts. None of y'all. I done been in rooms with the top writers and told them they shit whack. The same writers that's quick to drag female rappers. Oh, I wrote this. I wrote that. This shit is actually embarrassing and sad. Then Cardi B replies with a video of JT in the studio with P telling her to rap like Cardi. Yeah, listening like when Cardi recorded her song, how it's a minute before that beat kick in. You want people to just be sitting there listening, like feeling you what you what you talking about before you just come in and talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, after all that, Nicki Minaj changes her profile picture to JT, which has Twitter in a frenzy. And she tweeted all the girls that were a part of the Queen Mix. And of course, Cardi B did catch wind of this as she tweeted, Keeping up with Cardi. Yeah, I know. Then, Cardi B goes on to change her profile picture to Remy Ma since Nicki Minaj changed hers to JT. Well, little girlfriend and me. What should I have? Hi, Skylar. Y'all, because I feel... Okay, let me tell you the kind of girl that I think would make a good couple with me. Um, are you a masculine or a feminine in the relationship? Excuse me, bitch. All right, so listen. I'm sh yes, no, yes, I'm sure. So I don't. Okay, I'm. Sh I guess I'm kind of like a sh I'm sure. But you know what it is, and I understand why gay women might feel like this too. Not all gay women, but it's really hard to choose because it's like one minute you see a a, a a a female that's more like you know what I'm saying. And then the next minute, you see a girl that's all <laughs> sexy and soft and so cute. And then it's like, how do you choose, you know? I would look fine with a girly girl. Okay. So who I ever, yeah, what girl in the industry would I make a good couple with, y'all? <laughs> um... Wipe your face if you see me. Are you what the fuck up there? Look, look what I'm eating, y'all. Can y'all see? What did you say, Jay? Uh uh. Mango. Uh. Okay, y'all. Let me tell you my type. If I'ma have somebody, I gotta have. They gotta have a, they gotta kinda have a, a, they got, they gotta be like a little, a little, a little kinda, a little meaty. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause y'all, that's why I got a butt. You know what I'm saying? Jade, you just want a scissor? Oh, I've never done that. Do you actually feel the coochie though? Like, Cause I always be thinking, is that just a waste of time? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that oh JT? Oh. <laughs> okay, here's why JT, here's why JT can possibly be one of my <laughs> is because I love juicy lips. She has beautiful juicy lips. And like kissing that, you know, of course it's like <laughs> But also, she has big boobies. <laughs> but I wouldn't answer that to Uzi. Uh-huh. Uzi is my baby. Nope. Mm -mm. Y'all ain't getting me from him. Nope. Mm-mm. Because I love Uzi. JT is the only girl I'm going to let be with Uzi.